We've all heard a lot about the record deadly year in Indianapolis in 2017. 154 murders on the year. Yeah, it's probably no surprise that most of those murders involve firearms. Well, we wanted to take a closer look at guns on the streets here in our community. And our Alan Carter has been investigating with some eye-opening numbers to tell us about. Alan? That's right. And as you can imagine, this is a concern for police, but not so much as in the gun themselves, but in the people that shouldn't have them. Now, we couldn't actually get inside, but this is video of an evidence room where a lot of those confiscated weapons are held. Now, there are a lot in there. In 2017 alone, police took 3,319 guns off the streets. If you're doing that just by an average, that's about nine a day. That's also on par with what they saw last year. Now, not all of these guns may have been used in an actual crime. Some of them may have not been turned back over, but a lot were in the hands of people who did not have permits and were felons. Oftentimes, police will get them before something tragic happens, but obviously not all the time. The problem and the challenge for us as a law enforcement agency and as a community is quickly identifying individuals in possession of, of firearms that shouldn't be. You have to give this piece of machinery the respect that it deserves. And we're not seeing that. There are people who are, are, who are are handling uh, their emotional uh, exhale w with a firearm. So, of course, that leaves the question, how easy is it to get a gun? Well, at 6, we go beyond that and into a neighborhood considered to be one of Indy's roughest, and we talk to people who live and witness that violence. John? All right. Thank you, Alan.